Well, good morning. Uh, it is October 14th, 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far, or if you're getting to this later in the day, a wonderful day. Uh, but this morning, we're back in Galatians chapter 5. We're going to be looking at verse 12 this morning, where Paul writes, I wish those who unsettle you would emasculate themselves. All right, that's quite strong language, isn't it here? <laughs> and it really does reflect the frustration that Paul has with false teachers who were leading the Galatians astray by wishing that they would go so far as to emasculate themselves. Paul emphasizes the seriousness of their error and the harm that they were causing to the church. And this serves as a stark, stark warning against false teaching and its destructive consequences. Now, in this verse, Paul's passion for the purity of the gospel is absolutely evident. He is deeply, and I mean deeply, concerned about the spiritual well-being of the Galatian believers who were being misled into legalism away from the grace of Christ. And his desire for them is to remain steadfast, steadfast in the true gospel and not be swayed by pervasive or persuasive, excuse me, uh, uh, teachings. Now, Paul's strong stance here reminds us of the importance of guarding against false doctrine in our own lives and our communities. Now, while we may not use such direct language today, the principle remains we should vigorously defend the truth of the gospel and protect others from teachings that distort or diminish Christ's work on our behalf. So today, let's take a little bit of time. I think it's good to do so. Take a little bit of time to reflect on the ways that false teachings may subtly influence beliefs and practices within the church today. Consider how you can contribute to preserving and promoting the purity of the gospel message in your own life and in your community. Today, reaffirm your commitment to standing firm in the truth of God's word, resisting any teachings that undermine the sufficiency of Christ's sacrifice, let your faith be grounded in the unchanging truth of the gospel as you navigate the challenges of living as a follower of Jesus Christ in a world that's full of so many competing voices. Well, anyway, God bless you. Thank you for uh, joining me this morning. I'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Take care.